What's up you 3D printing freaks? I know it's been a while, I've been kind of busy with my normal job. But uh, today I'm going to deliver as promised uh, the video on the Robo 3D All Run Plus on how to install the third party um, Smart LCD Controller XXL. Uh, the printer doesn't come stock with the screen, uh, you have to tether it with a USB cord. But uh, you can go to print it, uh, printedsolid.com right here. You could pick this screen up as 70 bucks and it's worth its weight in gold uh, not to be tethered. I can't tell you how many times already uh, my computer slept or I didn't have a plug and I died in the middle of the night and my print stopped. So I have right here, this is my other Robo 3D that I didn't put the screen on yet. I've been waiting for you guys. And uh, we'll do that right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have to remove these screws. There's one, uh, I'll back up so you guys can see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Now I'm gonna do my best to uh, to work this out with my cell phone. I'm using my iPhone again. Uh, I was actually waiting for the GoPro from my friend to drop it off to me. And he finally came through and dropped it off, but guess what? Battery's dead, so joke's on me again. So, um, let's just check this out. Trusty screwdriver. Take this sucker out. There we go. Now, what's cool about this XXL screen is that it, it basically just plugs in right into the board. You don't really have to do anything. Also, another upgrade that you have to do with the screen is that you have to add the the printed feet, which are, which are these guys right here, to raise the printer up. You can see that there in the back too, to raise the printer up for the screen to fit. But it's a good idea anyway because uh, here's the vents and the, the fan and here's the vent for cooling on the bottom. Uh, it's a good idea to have that space under your printer anyway, even if you don't add the screen. So you don't end up overheating or anything like that. You can see the way it's designed right now, if it was to sit down, it was gonna be flush. So it's not gonna be much airflow. But um I definitely if you get this printer, what you should do is uh first thing you should do is, is an easy upgrade, just print, just print the feet, if nothing else. It's, that shouldn't be a big uh a big deal to do it. And you go on Thingiverse. I'm not gonna, I'll try to put the link later on, but there's like, there's like five or six different variants of, of this, uh, of those feet, you know, you can pick the different designs and stuff like that. I also, uh, I'll show you guys the case that I printed for the, um, screen. I'll put the link in the description, if I don't forget, I'll put the link in the description for, uh, Oh, one more for the, the screen casing. Oh. Yeah, I should have brought my drill, right? All right. So now one thing that I gotta say, to watch out for that I didn't realize the first time is that this fan right here has a short wire that's connected to the to the board. So when you take it out, just remember that. I'm gonna try, try to pry it out a little bit. Give me a second, guys, so I can get it out. There we go. So you can see, here's the inside, and there is, sorry, there's the cable. Go right to the board. So let's pull the bottom, let's put the sucker out. Alright, so. So if you guys pulled yours off too fast, then you need to know where it is. Not that much light over here, but right next, sorry guys, right next to that little, uh, right in there. So here we go. So let's pull this sucker completely off. Maybe I don't have to. Do I have to? All right, I don't have to. So here's the 
here's the board. You can see on the end uh, the slot. You can see those little uh, those little prongs, I guess you call them. The XXL screen plugs right into that. So let me grab this sucker. Here's the screen right here. Now this is a lot bigger than your normal like MakerBot screen, all the Maker screen. I'd say it's at least double, if not triple, the size. Hence the name XXL. Um, and what you do is you will grab this right here. These it's plug right into the board. So you gonna remove you gonna remove this cable right here. Which I'll do right now. Remove this cable. See this cable right here on top. Remove this cable, guys. I'm kind of being lazy right now because I don't want to. I don't want to squeeze my fingers in there and plug that back in. But uh, you're gonna remove this top cable right here. Some reason it doesn't want to come out. Okay, come pry it out. There it goes, coming. Oh. And that's what you get for being lazy. The whole thing just came out. Well, at least you guys get a better look at the board now. So, here we go. Make sure nothing came loose. Did this come loose? No. Loose these suckers, push that back in. Nothing else came loose. All right. So if your your bottom falls, like mine just did on the floor, what well, comes out when you open it? The fan plugs into those two right there above the pliers. Bam. All right. So we unplugged this wire right here. That was going to this. Bam, I'll plug that. Here's the XXL screen. Now, the cool thing about this is bam, all you have to do is take it, match the holes, match the holes, if I could do that. Right in. Let's make sure it's all the way in. Let's see if I can give you guys a better view. Yeah. So push it all the way in. There you go. I'm gonna push it all the way in so you don't see any of the any of the prongs left. Just be gentle, but you know you could do you can you can use a little force. So now what I did was on this guy over here that's already running as I use my Dremel and I cut a little hole in the bottom in the bottom of the, the plate right here which which I'll probably end up doing right now okay guys we're back so for the sake of saving time and only having one hand uh, I plugged in the fan already which would go right over here above that above the green blue wire I uh, used the drum mold to cut the little groove you know, nothing too drastic but just a little groove uh, now I'm gonna put this thing back together remember it was uh, one two three four five six screws so I'm gonna fit this sucker on and then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have you guys watch me screw it in I think it's a waste of time but at least show you how I pop it in. Let's see. Pretty much lines up. Pretty much is supposed to supposed to line up. <laughs> Hold on. 
Yeah, this is a bit exciting for you guys, huh? There we go. Alright. So the top is all lined up. Let's get the bottom all lined up. Bam. Beautiful. Alright, so as you can see, I pushed it all back together. I made the little cut for the wires to hang out. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna screw all the screws so you don't guys have to watch this. And uh, I'm gonna put on the feet. So I had already printed out the feet for the screen. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just put a tiny dab of hot glue just so they'll stay in place when I flip it over and then it'll constantly fall off uh, if I have to move the printer or not. And just enough to stay and if you have to pull it off for some reason to maybe get back under there to add it, add another upgrade or maybe just to change the screen or whatever the case, something breaks, uh, you can just rip, rip it right off. So just, just give these a tiny, tiny dab of hot glue uh, in each corner. That's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, guys, I'm back. So again, what happened was I added the feet with a dab of hot glue. I cut that hole, fed the wire through. Now I got the bottom frame of the of the holder right there I didn't attach it yet I, I put the, the screen just through the wire because it's easier to do when I didn't have the camera uh, now the instructions say and everyone else says you know you can take out you know that screw and get a longer one and add it and stuff like that you can drill a, drill a hole through here into the thing blah 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 I don't do that Hot glue, hot glue, baby. Hot glue is your friend. So, I'm gonna give a dab of hot glue in these back areas here, on underneath here, here, and um, fit this baby into place. Then I'll do the same thing with the top. I'll fit the screen in. Hot glue, hot glue the sandwich together instead of screws. And uh, when I come back, I'll have everything hooked up. Uh, I'll put the knobs on, and then I'll show you how this thing works. All right, I'm back. Everything's glued, uh, glued together. Um, there's a slot for the SD card, which you can see on this one right here. This one looks a little crooked. Let me see. Let me just make sure the card fits. Bam, not a problem. Uh, let's turn this sucker on. Bam. We have power. Robo R1 Plus V1. I've done nothing but plug this into the board and hot glue everything together. How great is it to have all your controls? I think this is a little tight. You might have to make this hole a little bigger, guys, than yours. Uh, it's getting stuck, I think. Yeah, you can kind of hear it. But, um, how cool is this? If, say, you want to disable motors, you want to auto home, you want to preheat. Let's say you want to move your accesses. Let's see this. Let's double check the sucker works. Let's do Z. Bam. And that's it. Now you're not tethered to your computer no more. You can tell this fucker why, freaking why, sorry, to get out of here. That's it guys, let's, let's do uh, our auto home, as you guys can see. Bam, done. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.